And we have a static LP. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure how to start this one, other than saying that it is doomed to fail. Like, in at least 76 different ways. So, as you can see for my three copies of it, we are going to be playing Ristar today. Uh, if the freaking emulator doesn't load in full screen, and yes, I am going to include all this in the video. Now, I am loading... Oh my god, this is like the worst setup ever. Okay, um... I am loading this ROM here to show the fact that it sucks. Because... Yeah, static voice. Okay, so... Let's see if it does it. Yes. Do you hear it? Is Skype even working? Oh, I don't know. I was supposed to respond to that. Yes, I do. So yeah, horrible sound effect every time you do a move. Every copy of this ROM I have found does this in every emulator that I have tried. So, solution to this, I downloaded the Japanese one, and yeah, yeah, load in full screen, all that stupid crap, I don't even care anymore. Okay. Now we can actually get on with our lives here. Um, I will show the intro to this game. If, if you don't know already, this is Tim. It was with my Plock playthrough also. And probably something else. I don't know. Yeah, there was the BA2 run that didn't get re-uploaded because of reasons. Uh, actually, there were very few reasons, but yeah. So, story of this game, there's some guy out in space who causes stuff to happen, and then this guy's like, oh no, there's a thing chasing me, and then stuff happens, and then... And then Ristar. That weird noise happens, and then the galaxy is at peace, and then that thing appears, and then it's oh. the opening to the first Pokemon movie. So... Anyway, Japanese version of this game... And then I burp. Yes. Uh, is apparently slightly different from the American one, even though, from what I can tell, they were released within one day of each other. Um, the main difference being that this one does not have the American Kirby Syndrome to it, so not everything has angry eyebrows on it. So anyway, we will finally get started with this game. Yes, I meant to mute my mic, though, so you didn't now. have to hear my slurping. Look, didn't make the noise. I'm happy. <gasps> so why do you think they took out the eyebrows for the Japanese version? Because American Kirby is hot, is hardcore. Like, you, have you, you've seen that, right? Yes. For those who I know don't know, the, the box art for every single Kirby game added, like, angry eyebrows on it for the American release, because otherwise it wouldn't be cool enough. So they basically did the same thing with this game when they released it. So there's a lot of enemies that are slightly different, including this one here. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is just sort of a late Sega Genesis game made by Sonic Team. I um, know a couple bits of trivia about it. The main one being that, like, Originally, Sonic was going to be a rabbit named Feel, and would grab things with his ears, and then they scrapped that idea and turned it into this game. I wonder why. Maybe because naming a character Feel, Feel is a terrible freaking idea. That is... really bad. Yeah. Feel the rabbit! Oh, no. Well, it made that the noise, could be like... I think it was actually supposed to that time. That could be like a title or like a command. Yes. They could just like feel the rabbit, do it. Or it's it like the cat, the bunny. Yeah. So anyway, I think this is a pretty cool game though. Um, I first played it on the Sega Channel because I must mention that in every video ever. Um, and I can't get up there. I'm sure wasn't live to see that. There is a bit of lag going on now, which is probably not going to be able to be fixed. But yeah, I played it on the Sega channel, I thought it was cool, and then I never got a chance to play it again until um, Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube, where you could unlock it after wasting like 5,000 hours of your life 
going into games, quitting, and then going into them again. And then that was a happy day, because I got to play this game again. And every ROM of it sucks, except for the Japanese one. Hmm. So, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. I'm kind of just exploring the level. Um, as you can tell, there's about two things that you can do in this game. You can jump and you can grab things. And you can do stuff like this. And feel things. Yes. Like rabbits. Now, which would be, be worse? Like... Feel the rabbit or grab the rabbit? Well, I think the worst one would be grope the rabbit, so... <laughs> Clutch, Clutch the rabbit. <laughs> Clutch doesn't sound that bad. I, I don't know if there's a secret over here or not. I, there's one There's one in every level, and I have, like, no idea where anything is, because I haven't played this game in too long, so... I will just kind of give up on that one and ho hope that I run across it later. And we have a really derpy mini-boss here. It is basically... Bow Twoom from Super Metroid. And it's already dead. Oh. I didn't even get to... I was on another window, I didn't even see what it looked like. I guess I'll find out later. Yeah. Okay, um... I can't imagine it was that interesting if it took four seconds to beat. <laughs> yeah. I, like, totally already missed the secret item, didn't I? Like, what the crap? How did I already miss it? I will just scale this, this wall out of frustration. And that will happen. That's a great way of scaling a wall. Yes. Just kind of grab it and slap your knees, and somehow you're up. Oh, here it is. Okay. So yeah, there's a, like, little bonus area in every level. I'm gonna try to get all of these. Just ruin what the treasure is before I open it, why don't you? I don't remember if the American version does that or not. Probably. Since this is the first level, this one's pretty easy to get. You just do that. There we go. Great! Continue up! <laughs> the American version probably does it because American games are easy. Yes. Us stupid Americans can't figure out how to play games. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't that the thing with Mario 2? They were like, oh, they'll think it's too hard. That's the reason that people like to blame. I think it was just because it was a shitty ROM hack and they wanted to make a better game. Hmm. So they did a shitty ROM hack of Doki Doki Panic instead. I don't actually like either incarnation of Mario 2. That little thing in the corner that is actually. not there in the American version. Okay, then. Probably because it's too scary for us. Yes. Okay, here's another enemy that has angry eyebrows on it in the American version. I'll stop pointing that out every time I see one. Ooh, well, it does have it right now, though. Oh. <laughs> well, don't leave the thing in the corner. The Americans will think it's bad. I don't know. Assuming that the also, Japanese version was for so first. But, but on the other hand, though, the Japanese version has a whole bunch of codes that we didn't get, including one for invincibility. So, I, I don't know. And like I said, they were released on, like, the same goddamn day. So... Oh. Will you... Why can't I grab this thing? Not that it did anything, so never mind. And the game, like, locked up. Um... What the shit? Yeah, I'm not holding a button right now. Uh... Alright, game locked up. I don't think this bird likes the game too much. Whatever the fuck that We'll is. just do this forever. This is the rest of the video. Well... This has been Ristar. I don't know. Um, I guess cut? Okay, well... After cutting the recording, he stopped grabbing onto the stupid flying squirrel, so... Um, I don't get it. Yeah. I should probably learn what the save state button is in this emulator at some point, because I'll probably have to start using it later, but for right now we're good. And there's a derpy chicken thing. That was probably, like, the... dick. Yes. Okay, come on now. Come 
Come on now. Grab the tr No, I didn't want you to kill it. So basically, though, this is the worst LP ever, and I'm fully aware of this fact, but I don't care. So. I still think that the first episode of BH2 was pretty bad, and it was worse compared to this. And I still, to this day, get comments saying how lame the um, first episode of Gex was, even though I have a gigantic annotation apologizing for it. Of Gex the, the first one that I did. Uh. Yeah, well that's to be expected. Go away, stupid chickens. Remember when we tried to do Gex and it yeah. didn't work? And then remember when I got a physical copy of it and said that I might actually LP that game after all, and then didn't? That didn't happen. Yeah. Okay, let's hope I don't get stuck on this one. Okay, good. Now, is there another one? Yes. No, come back. Yeah, I have just kind of this gigantic list of, like, LPs that I should do, but probably won't, and that's one of them. Another one is Donkey Kong 64. Um, want to be the guide in. I don't know. Just way too many of them. Excuse me, I was dropping everything on my keyboard. Twinkle Apple. Isn't Donkey Kong 64 like 23,000 hours long? Yes. I would have to edit out oh. the entire game. I will, I will only include the parts that don't involve collecting bananas, so therefore you will Which not see any of it. it. Hi, welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Thanks for watching. I don't know. I, I, my relationship to that game is so weird because I like other collectibles. What is wrong with this emulator that it keeps doing shit like this? It, like, what? locks up my controls. Okay, can we, like, Restart. fix this? Thank you. Better not do that, like, during a boss fight. I would use a different emulator, but it, like, lagged really bad, so... I, I think I just hate the Genesis in general. Like... There's, there's no, no way games on it that I want to get. And none of the emulators work. So, I don't know. There's no proper way to LP this game, just gotta go with it. Yeah, I, oh yeah, for the record, I do have a foot... I actually own a copy of this game, and I wanted to record it on the console, but since the Genesis doesn't have AV outputs, it uses coax, I don't have any way of recording it that I can figure out. What the fuck is a coax? I don't even know what that is. Oh, failed. A bit of fail there. Coax is like, you know, the like... Like pointy thing with like a screw around it that you stick into the back of the t like like cable connections and stuff. I don't know. Sure. So let's see how stupid this boss will be. As if I don't already know. I'll just kind of hang on its face and not let go. So the trick to this boss is keep hitting it until the thing falls off and then it hits the thing. And then that's it. It's, the trick to this boss is hit it. Yes. Use the one attack that you have. <laughs> Use your one ability that sets you apart from any other character to beat the boss. So, um, you know, it sucks no. because this game it seems very good, but... The constant stream of bullshit is making it a little bit dumb. Yeah, mostly the emulator problems. Yeah. So anyway, now that we have beat the crap out of this boss, he is healed, and we can move on to the next planet. And then there's this thing which I, like, tried to put into BA2 to some very of like, some degree of success. Huh. Horrible Whoa. noise. Unbelievable. This emulator sucks. I don't know. <laughs> Unbelievable. You beat a level. Yeah. You actually managed to record it. Bye -bye. We got to the end of a thing in the game. That's it.